Hey, what is up guys? Mr. Reverts here, and today I want to talk about a massive leak for Call of Duty World War II multiplayer, and they are all the score sheets plus the multiplayer camos, and obviously we knew about most of these from the beta, but there are some new ones such as the Advanced Recon Aircraft, the Fire Bombing Run, uh, the Emergency Air Jump, the Attack Dogs, and finally the V2 Rocket. Now obviously most of these may ring a bell from previous Call of Duty games such as the Attack Dogs, which will spawn in a bunch of dogs to kill the enemy players, or the Emergency Air Drop from MW2 that's going to drop a bunch of care packages on the ground for you and your team to pick up, or the Advanced Recon Aircraft which will act as a permanent UAV for you, and the Fire Bombing Ground of course, and the V2 Rocket is something that raises a big question to me because a lot of people right now are saying that it's going to be that new kill streak in the game, that kill streak that's going to kill the entire enemy team. I'm a bit skeptical about this because uh, I'm not really all too sure. Again, this is not confirmed at all, but it is from the PC files. But I'm looking at some of the notes I took down of this bomb on my computer screen right now. And the V2 sounds like it was a pretty scary bomb because for one, it traveled at the speed of sound. And you actually heard the sound of the explosion from the impact before the sound of the missile. So uh, it does sound like it's very, it's a very scary missile. It's very, very quiet and a big weapon for destruction. But again, I'm not sure if this is going to be that final nuke kill streak in the game. But all the facts are pointing to it being that kill streak that basically kills everyone in the game. And uh, now we do have a bunch of camos that were leaked out today. And you can go check them out in the bottom of this video. And Michael Kondry did say that all the camos in this game are not going to be goofy looking or anything like that. They are going to be World War II related. They are going to be World War II themed, so that is very, very good to hear. You guys are going to be happy to hear that. There are going to be some animated camos, uh, but a lot of people are kind of content with that. As long as they are era appropriate, uh, I'm personally okay with that. And again, a lot of you guys are going to be happy to hear that they are going to be era appropriate for this game. There is going to be gold, diamond, and chrome camo, and then there are other variants of those camos. For example, there's a gold leopard, and then a gold leopard V2 Two, and I do think that chrome camo is going to be the final camo in the game that you basically have to unlock everything in order to get and in total there are 25 camos in World War 2 but there will be supply drop camos for this game so take that how you want and then also in this reddit thread there's a bunch of other leaked information such as the headquarters and other supply drop content and again you guys can take that the way you want I'm personally okay with this it doesn't sound too bad at the moment I'm just really hoping that there aren't going to be any weapon variants uh, there is going to be a new loot rarity and it's called heroic i'm not sure if that's going to be ahead of epic but uh just from the order it is going to be epic heroic legendary rare and common that's how they have it listed right here again heroic might be ahead of epic i'm not all too sure we're gonna have to wait and find out about that and then uh, there's also a bunch of other little gestures you can get in the game such as uh but you can do the rock paper scissors there's a lot of cool stuff in here you guys want to go check out this reddit thread again it's going to be in the bottom of this video so that's it for the video if you guys did enjoy the drop like and tell me that's about all this in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching i'm a very tough of the day until next time i'll see you guys later